Nivan Maga letter number three. How to develop and protect morality. Sila. We have been taught the five precepts since we were very young. Most of us say the precepts daily and feel quite protected and secure. We think that we have observed the five precepts, but are quite oblivious of how many times we break these precepts in our daily lives. Why does this happen? The answer is because we undertake these activities of taking the precepts, etc., under the spell of personality view. Instead, we have to learn to look at the breaking of the precepts, for instance, from a cause and effect perspective, that is Hetupalan. We will discuss Hetupalan Yama in detail in a later letter. In this letter, we will try and learn how to apply the five precepts into our day-to-day -day living. We all know that keeping the five precepts is the leading strategy for morality. This is only a theoretical view. The human mind is such that at every moment, the three bases that shape our conduct, verbal, physical, and mental, break up, breaks up and renews. Nobody has real control over them. It is only wisdom that can bring them under control. Let us see how this works in real life. When we wake up in the morning and find that there are a few unpleasant tasks to be completed that day or meet someone we would rather not meet, our outlook for that day or mood will be affected negatively. What happens then? We become stressed and instinctively reach for a cup of tea. We become irritated by any small setback that we may encounter. We react with anger and not with compassion and understanding. What is the result? Unwholesome actions and speech. We make ourselves and others miserable and unhappy. Justify our ill temper if we become aware of it. Do you see how we end up breaking the sealer? We break the sealer in three ways. Verbally, that is lying, gossiping, divisive and empty speech. Physically, killing, stealing and sexual misconduct. Mentally, covetousness, ill will and wrong will. Why does it happen in such a way? What is the cause? Lord Buddha showed us, or showed us that all living beings are born with three roots, greed, hatred, and delusion. One cannot see these three roots, but they are embedded in us and determine our natural behavior pattern. We do not have enough confidence and understanding of the true nature of existence as Lord Buddha showed us. We go with the flow and think this is the normal way of behavior in the karma local. We look at life with personality view and think that things are permanent. Society looks upon compassion or patience as a sign of weakness. They label a patient person as passive or backboneless. But Lord Buddha went against this trend or flow and advocated a peaceful way to deal with day-to-day -day living through following the precepts through Sila. Can we avoid these pitfalls? Lord Buddha gave us certain steps to follow. Association of Kalyana Mitta, who will steer us away from incorrect behavior. Being in an environment which is conducive to good behavior. The story of the two parrots whose lives were shaped 
by their environment illustrates this. Listening and understanding the Dhamma. Applying the Dhamma to our daily life. Sorry, to our daily activities. Following the path Lord Buddha prescribed in order to develop certain faculties. In this letter, we try to show how we delude ourselves into believing that we are observing the precepts when we are constantly breaking them, how we are unaware that we are breaking them, how we are not in a position to protect them, and what we should do to correct ourselves. 